Hi, all. I am Dr. Mukti Sai Khailia Kuji from AVMC Pondicherry. And my paper presentation uh, on uh, imaging of craniovertebral junction abnormalities in multi detector CT and MRI. Introduction uh, Craniovertebral junction is the transit zone between the cranium and spine, most complex as well as the dynamic region of spine. It encloses the soft tissue structures of the cervical medullary junctions like medulla, spinal cord, and lower cranial nerves. Craniovertebral junction may can be congenital, developmental, or due to malformation secondary to any acquired disease process. These anomalies can lead to neural and vascular compromise, obstructive hydrocephalus, and cerebrospinal fluid dynamics. So my objectives are to establish the role of pretreatment evaluation of uh, craniovertebral junction abnormalities, to outline normal anatomy of craniovertebral junction, to study the most common developmental and uh, acquired CVJ abnormalities, and to arrange the frequently detected CVJ pathological imaging findings. So the materials and methods. Um, this is an institution-based prospective observational study from uh, G Brevo 16 slides and Philips MRI 1.5 Tesla. And my sample size is 46. Duration is for a period of two years from October uh, 2019 to September uh, 2021. So inclusion criteria is all patients uh, suspected to have craniovertebral junction disorder were included in the study from all age groups and uh, both genders. Detailed clinical history was taken and exclusion criteria is uh, post-operative patient and their uh, post operative patients. So this pie chart showing 61% uh, uh, of uh, cranial vertebral uh, congenital anomalies and 22% of trauma, 8% are infectious and 9% are uh, inflammatory conditions. So the result is, uh, this is a prospective study of 46 cases of cranial vertebral junction abnormalities. 28 cases, that is 61% uh, are congenital anomalies, and 10 patients, uh, that is 22% are trauma, and 8% infection, and 9% are uh, rheumatoid arthritis. And males were more common than females. And here, um, in MRI findings, odontoid fracture is more common compared with the fracture of atlas and the axis. Among the odontoid fractures, type 3 fracture is more common. So conclusion, most common abnormality was due to congenital followed by trauma, infection, and inflammatory conditions. Among congenital anomalies, os odonium was most common. Among trauma, type 2 odonium fracture was most common. CVJ abnormalities, abnormalities constitute an important group of treatable neurological disorders. Thus, it is essential that radiologists should be able to make the precise diagnosis of CVJ abnormalities, classify them, and to rule out important limiters on CT and MRI. As this information ultimately helps to determine the management of such abnormalities, prognosis, and quality of life of patient. So, let us see some of the images. McRae line is a line between uh, Bayesian and Opistion. The tip of dense should always be below this line. If it is above this line, suggest you of basilar invasion. The sagittal CT image of the brain shows, cervical spine shows, this dense is lie above the McRae's line. So the suggest you of basilar invagination. Then also odontoidium. This is a normal anatomy. At the tip of the odontoid, this is the body of axis. This is a normal anatomy. This is os odontoidium. This is a separation of a portion of the odontoid process from the body of axis. It is the most common developmental anomaly, a small oval corticated ossicle with smooth circumferential cortical margin. This is the anterior atlantodental intervent on a flexion on neutral and extension position, showing the anti uh, distance between the anterior atlanto dental thing is reduced. On coronal reconstruction, showing a proper alignment of lateral atlanto dental joints, and this suggests to work for reducible atlanto axial instability. This is MRI stair mid sagittal image shows a seringomyelia, 
and a peg like tonsil, which is lies below the foramen magnum, such as to a corner carrying of the So, this is a paleovertebral junction tuberculosis, a 40 year old uh, history, of, uh, history of bilateral limb weakness. This is a sagittal T1 and T2 weighted image showing the restriction of odontoid process of atlas and anterior arch of C1 with a pre vertebral abscess and sec uh, secondary spinal canal stenosis. This is a type 3, uh, type 2 odontoid fracture. And the friends, 